Welcome back everyone. My name is Drew. Beer for breakfast. Facts for snacks. Now, I want to give a good shout out to uh, Brian the Beer Snob. Thank you for the shout out. Um, and and then I look back. I, w I went to the beer store today and I bought three beers for reviews. And I was actually going to do something I never heard of. Heritage Hop Brew 21 Hayes. Brewed in uh, Stratford, Ontario. Had no idea. Found us at the beer store. Glad I did. Almost did this one until I got that one. And you guys already know the title of it. And then Labatt 50. And you're wondering why would I do Labatt 50? Why, why not? So, then I, then I remembered Brian the Beer Snob. Um, did uh, Blue Moon uh, Mango Wheat. So cool, and and that is uh, his video one on one. Check it out, guys. When he uh, did a shout out for me, okay, and it have fun. See you later. Then I looked it up. It was Blue Moon. We have Belgian Moon Mango Wheat, five point four percent alcohol. And then I was looking back. I'm like, what is going on here? Something's going on here. And then I read up on it. And this is what I got. I thought the same beer is sold in Canada, which I am from Ontario, Canada. It doesn't have the same name. American Blue Moon is called Belgian Moon North of the Border. The beer originally launched as Bellyside Belgium White at the Sandlot Brewery, a Coors Brewery in Coors Field in Denver. So we got the same beer. So I'm uh, doing this one for you, Brian, the beer snob. Check his channel out. He did a good uh, shout out for me today. Uh, I believe that's what, video 119 or 20 or something like that. Uh, check it out. Now, I'm also going to do a comparison because Brian, the beer snob, I think he got this from Louisiana Beer Review because I watch Louisiana all the time. Pour it down the center. I'm not pouring my beer down the center this time. First thing is I have a laptop here and if I pour it too hard, it might just go everywhere and I just screw up the laptop. Second thing, I'm going to do comparison for Brian the Beer Snub, my likings. Next week sometime, not this week, next week uh, I might go with Coors Light or Coors Banquet. Two Coors Banquet, one my way, one his way. On video here, a comparison. If I get a different in aroma, taste or anything... That's going to happen because I am curious what the difference is in pouring it down straight down the center. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, check out his videos. All right, Brian slash the beer snob, one word. Check it out. Great guy. Love his stuff. Check out his videos, please. Anyways, Brian, mango wheat. Mango wheat. Oh, you got to wait, okay? You got to wait. Hold on. Hold on one second, guys. I gotta let the dog out. He needs to go outside. Okay, I'm letting you out. Alright. I know. I know. Alright, guys. So, I'm back. I was, like I said, I was going to do an IPA today. I wasn't even going to do a beer review, but after I watched Brian the Beer Snob doing his thing, uh, I had to do one, and this thought of uh, me uh, for him, and uh, to tell you the honest truth, it's the same beer, 5.4% alcohol. Um, we are going to go to Untapped with Belgian Moon. Untapped. And let me see what happens here. Belgian Moon, uh, Belgian Moon, uh, hold on guys, we're going to go with uh, mango wheat, mango wheat, untapped. And let's see what, what untapped. Belgian moon mango wheat, most in Coors Canada, untapped. 3.56 out of 5 with 3,393 ratings. All right, 5.4% alcohol. Let's get into this. And like I said, I'm going to do that comparison next next year. I'm going to do the compare uh, next week. Uh, I'm going to get Coors Banquet. 
one port in the center, one port on the side like I do. I want to know the comparison. I want to know what I should be doing better my way. Let's get into this. All right. Third Moon Brewing Glass in, uh, where is it, uh, Milton, Ontario. Check it, check it out, guys. Third Moon. Great. All right. I remember having one of these about uh, five, four or five months ago. Man, was it fantastic. Let's get to the smell. Do you want to say hi, Wiley? You want to get in? I'm not, the door's open. I haven't shut the door yet. Go out and use the washroom. All right, guys, that looks fantastic. It is literally, it's unfiltered perfectly. It's like a wheat beer. Oh, guys, the mango in this. This is a little bit of hops, a little bit of malt. And the mango you can smell in this is unbelievable. Wow. That looks great. Nice pour. We'll talk about the head until I do the comparison. Um, let's get into this because I want to know what this is. I, want, I, I remember tasting this and I think I chugged it. That's how good it was. Let's get into this beer. It's beautiful. A little hint of mango in there. A little bit of pineapple. A little bit of... Uh, you get a little bit of dank in the back. Smooth. You don't get 5.4% alcohol. You literally... Mango puree. So this is ingredients. Beer, mango puree. So it's got to be like a, a thick mango uh, slush going into the brew. Natural flavor. Contains barley, wheat... Um, it doesn't tell me what kind of hops. So I get a little bit of hoppiness in here. Uh, maybe like a 10 IBU. Guys, this is fantastic. Uh, I'm going to go for the price. And you guys are looking uh, the price. So I'm going to go with, uh, what did I pay, beer store? Because I want to tell you what I paid for this, guys. Uh, I paid for this, a mango beer store. A tall can, 473 mil. I paid two dollars and ninety-five cents today, so I took back uh, five dollars worth of bottles, four dollars and eighty-five cents or something like that, and I got a little bit fifty. I got this and that, and it cost me three dollars and thirty cents or something like that. Three beers for reviews, one scoring tonight. Um, wow! Try something different, guys. You got to try something different. If you have never had a flavored wheat beer before try this a, a belgian moon blue moon down in the states guys but it's a belgian moon up here mango wheat uh try something different i can't express that enough because if you don't uh expand your horizon for different tastes of beers you're just going to stick with the coors light bud light miller light you know miller high life those things try something different but this is fantastic guys i'm telling you right now when I buy this again, absolutely. That rating right there is an 8 out of 10, guys. 8 out of 10. Go out and get it. Go out and have a nice mango beer. Man, that is fantastic. And I can't believe that this is the same beer that Brian the Beer Snob had when he was in Florida. And gave me a shout out. Check out that video. 101 of his videos, guys. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll be back tomorrow. I wasn't even going to come here today, but I'm here. I'm here, baby, and this is it. This is it. I wasn't going to have a beer tonight, but this is it. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for the shout-out, Brian. Uh, we will talk, buddy. We will definitely talk, and I'm going to do that comparison for you, Brian, next week. Coors Banquet. I'm going to. I'm going to, because I need to know what you are getting different than what I'm doing. Thank you, Brian, for watching my videos. Thank you, everyone, for watching my videos, and I'll be back tomorrow night. Have a great night. Stay safe. Cheers.